everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. So about just came here, Afolabi Adeshi is celebrating her second daughter's big first birthday today. Nadia, she's one year old today. For a very long time, Kemi Afolabi chose not to share the details of her personal life with the public. People kept speculating about it until she finally came out to address the rumors. It turned out that she had long been married to a bill from the UK, while her dish Kemi is happily married and blessed with two lovely daughters. Her husband, Wale Adeshikbe, is a graduate of Luton's University of Bedfordshire, and he is also a very quiet person, which is probably why Kemi decided to hide him for so long. The couple met almost a decade ago in Nevada at an engagement ceremony of one of Kemi's friends. It was not until Nadia became 41 days old that Kemi decided to share this news with the public. This was in October last year. And also last year, it was reported that this actress was hospitalized in Maka in Saudi Arabia when she went for the Hanol Hajj. She was said to have been rushed to the hospital after falling ill due to the stress associated with the Hajj exercise. The nation reported that Kemi Falabi was showing symptoms of illness while in Medina. She was also seen sleeping on the bus during Ziyara, visitation to historical sites. One came here, Falabi joined the other pilgrims to some of the sites. At other sites, she sat on a bus. It was also linked that the eight hour drive from Medina to Maka took a toll on her. Kemi Falabi told the nation that she slept in the Maka Holy Mosque after the Umrah exercise to engage in some other acts of worship. And according to a medical practitioner attached to the Lagos State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board, Dr. Abidin Aru, Kemi Afolabi had symptoms such as fever, headache, loss of appetite, and weakness. Unknown to the media and the entire public all this time, Kemi Afolabi was already pregnant with her second child, Nadia. Also, unknown to the public, for a very long time, they didn't know that Kemi was actually married. As mentioned earlier, they met at an engagement ceremony of Kemi's friends. They hit it off quite fast, and soon they were engaged. Kemi and Wale actually had a small and quiet engagement ceremony in Okwata, Lagos State, which was held at the house of the actress's father. Not long after that, Kemi found out that she was pregnant, so her husband took her to the UK to have their first child together, Dara Simi, about 10 years ago. However, these days, this actress does not hide her family any longer. She even added her husband's last name to her social media handle, Kemi Afolabi Adeshikbe. And not just that, she now posts lovely photos of her family on her social media platforms. Kemi admitted that the bond between herself and her husband is incredibly strong, even despite all the controversies that come with a career in acting. Kemi Afolabi is a talented actress, devoted wife, and a wonderful mother, she loves doing what she does, but never forgets about family. And it was just last month, on August 5th, that she celebrated her first child's birthday, Dara Simi Clock, 10 years old. And today, she's celebrating her second daughter, Nadia, who turned one today, and Kemi saying, Alhamdulillah. And we are also saying, Happy birthday to Kemi Afolabi's lovely daughter, Nadia. Who is Kemi Afolabi, and what do we know about her professional life? Kemi Afolabi is a popular Yoruba actress who was born on April 21 in 1978 in Lagos. She does not care to hide her age. She is currently 42 years old. She attended Tunwashi Nursery Primary School to receive her primary education and her secondary school education at Our Lady of Apostle School. And she also attended A to Z International School. Later, Kemi attended the University of Lagos where she received where she received her LLB honors degree in law. And when Kemi was in her final year at the university at Unilag, students from the Department of Creative Arts invited her to participate in their theater production. The show must have been a success because this actress decided that, that maybe law was not really a thing. So she went into acting instead. The first movie she starred in was the Yoruba movie Alagba. However, not very long after that, Kemi Afolabi decided to take a break from acting. Leaving in the industry for nearly five years, between 2008 and 2013. However, when Kemi was away, she started writing movie scripts. So when she returned, she was ready to produce some movies. In 2016, her efforts were recognized as Kemi won the Best Yoruba Actress of the Year at the 2016 City People Awards, as well as the Most Prominent Actress at the 2016 Old World Image Awards. In addition to that, she also received the Best Yoruba Movie Producer of the Year Award at the City People Awards. Kemi has her own production company called Cass and D Entertainment. This actress has a lot of interest outside of work. For instance, she loves to cook for her family as it brings her immense joy to spend some quality time with her family. She also enjoys watching her own movies because it allows her to notice her mistakes 
analyze them and improve in time for the next movie. Kem is also a fashionista. You can spot her wearing designer clothes and accessories. Also, as mentioned earlier, Kem is among the top actresses who had a secret wedding. She, however, disclosed that she opted for a secret wedding because she decided to settle down with a man when she felt it was necessary for them to do so. And she told Bolawa Adetayo that I wouldn't call it a secret wedding because I invited a number of people to attend the occasion and my parents and his parents were in attendance. The reason is that I didn't want a big party for myself. And my husband decided to invite only very important people to grace the occasion. I didn't want a big party, so I didn't make noise about it. The engagement held at my father's house in Okota in Lagos State, they a very quiet one. My husband is based in UK, so I went to him to start our lives afresh. I had a baby girl in the UK. Shortly after the engagement, I got pregnant and I went to put to bed in the UK, she said. There was a time Kemi Afolabi shot an all-female cast movie. She actually used this movie to address some issues surrounding women and relationships. And in her words, I got the idea for my recent movie when I saw the need to reach out to women going through one phase or the other in their relationships and with their spouses and the likes. I wanted to reach out through this medium to prefer my own solution. I wanted to give women a voice. I wanted them to know that there is a reason why God created men and women to coexist. I wanted them to know that we need one another, regardless of how bad a person's character is. At some point, breakups and people walking out of their marriages due to domestic violence and other vices were becoming rampant. I had to reflect to see how marriages were handled in the past. For example, my grandpa had seven wives and my grandma was the fourth. I thought to myself that how did my grandmother cope in that kind of scenario? I realized that patience is a virtue. It is not everything that happens in the home that should make people want to walk out of their marriage. We have to learn to coexist and handle our relationships by dealing with each other with wisdom. If women continue walking out of relationships, they don't know what they are going to face in the next relationship. Above all, patience is key. I wasn't scared of being tagged the feminist. People even told me the movie won't be accepted in the cinema because it was a Yoruba movie. But I wasn't discouraged. If we can watch other movies in the cinema, then we can also see Yoruba movies. My distributor told me he was surprised by the performance of the movie in the cinema. We can't even speak the English language properly. Are the owners? So we need to embrace our culture she said. Upon sharing the news of her daughter's birthday, there has been a lot of congratulatory birthday messages on the social media platform to celebrate Nadia. And once again, we're also saying happy first birthday to Kemi Afolabi Adeshikbe's second daughter, Nadia. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let us know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.